Additive manufacturing will change what parts are possible. I'm Pete Zielinski. And I'm Stephanie Hendrickson with additivemanufacturing.media. Welcome to the Cool Parts Show. This is our new series where we talk about cool parts 3D printed by viewers like you. So Pete, you have a part here to help us get kicked off. I have a way cool part. Uh, so Stephanie, you know how one of the promises of additive manufacturing is internal features. Sure, lattices, conformal cooling, that kind of thing. Right, so now think internal objects. Like sensors? Yeah, um, but take it even farther. Imagine a solid part with a complete working motor embedded inside. That's what this is. Sounds like a pretty cool part, um, but what is it? It is a cool part. It, this is a rocket fuel injector designed by TGV. Fuel injector, mixing fuel and oxidizer during the rocket launch, um, usually a solid part. This one uses that motor, motor that's inside to precisely control this pintle, uh, controlling the openings of these orifices, changing the mix of fuel and oxidizer in flight. So this looks pretty solid, and you're saying there's a motor embedded in there. How do you get the motor in there and not damage it with metal 3D printing? This was made using a solid state additive manufacturing process. Uh, there was no melting involved. There was no high heat. The motor was never in danger. This was made through ultrasonic additive manufacturing. Uh, it was made by Fabrisonic. Mark Norfolk, CEO of Fabrisonic, describes the process. So ultrasonic additive manufacturing is a type of 3D printing uh, for metals. UAM is a little bit different in that we're taking thin foils of metal on the order to five to ten thousandths of an inch and we're welding those together using ultrasound. The secret sauce there is we're not actually melting anything. This is all happening at room temperature. Uh, this part right here never got above about 200 F. So the lowest temperature on your oven at home, that's as hot as we ever get. Metals really like to stick to other metals. Uh, and if you take two pieces of metal here on Earth, they're always covered with an oxide layer. So if I take this sheet and I fold it over and I try and press it down, it doesn't bond. But with ultrasound, we can actually scrub away that oxide layer and put virgin metal on virgin metal. So what we do is we fold over the foil onto the material we want to bond, and we roll over that with what we call an ultrasonic welder. As it rolls over, it's vibrating the sheet back and forth on the order of 20,000 times a second. That vibration actually scrubs off any impurities, any oils, and most importantly, scrubs off the oxide layer. As soon as you have virgin metal taking, uh, touching virgin metal, uh, Mother Nature takes over and you get a solid state bond. So what really struck me and captivated me about that is uh, the oxide layer. Every metal part in the world is basically wrapped in saran wrap. If you do ultrasonic scrubbing to get that saran wrap off, like metals want to bond with like metals. They want to mush together and just that mutual mushing is enough to make a solid part. Yeah, and so through that process, you're able to build things like this without damaging the motors or sensors or anything else that you might want to embed inside. All right. Okay, so if fuel injectors are usually this static thing, why would you want to put a motor inside of one? Yeah, so if it's just a static fixed part, then you get one mix of fuel and oxidizer. This one gives you a variety of different mixes that you can control. It now becomes possible to throttle up, throttle down the mix of fuel as the rocket is launching uh, according to a programmed path to get exactly the thrust profile that you want for the launch. So why would you 3D print something like this? Couldn't you just assemble it? Yeah, you could. Uh, so that's kind of the way you ought to do it, right? Is this is in different parts. You drop the motor in there, bolt it together, and it's held in place. Uh, the problem is what TGV decided, there is no way to get a tight enough assembly to absolutely guarantee you won't get unintended mixing of the fluids. The only way to keep those fluids separate, keep the streams apart, is uh, a completely solid, seamless part. All right, so one more question for you. All of this seems to be the same material except for this band right here. What is this? That's right. Uh, this is all aluminum except that band is copper 
another ability of this process, ultrasonic additive manufacturing, it makes building with dissimilar materials in the same part pretty easy. Um, Mark Norfolk also had something to say about that. Another interesting feature is we can print dissimilar metals. So if you look at the device, you'll actually see a thin ring of copper, and that's actually acting as a, a seal. Um, by printing that softer material in a very specific location, that allows us to seal uh, one fluid from the other very easily. Um, other things that we're looking at for future versions of this um, is actually uh, stiffening that structure with some embedded, uh, embedded wires so that we can actually uh, take out some mass. By adding high strength wires inside the aluminum matrix, we can get a much higher strength which allows us to, to shrink the wall thickness, if you will, uh, which will uh, hopefully allow for um, you know, weight savings as well. All right, so to recap, this is a 3D printed fuel injector made with ultrasonic additive manufacturing. Um, that process allows for a motor to be embedded inside, which controls this pintle on the top, um, which allows you to change the amount of fuel that's coming through and throttle your engine. So I think that's a wrap. Uh, that was our first episode of the Cool Parts Show. Tell us about your cool parts. Please email us, coolparts at additivemanufacturing.media. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.